Thanks for coming back to the Smoke with Ryan 4K channel, bringing you all the best snuff reviews in stunning 4K. <laughs> what we got for you today is uh, Freeborg and Treyer. Troyer, Treyer, so Freeborg and Treyer, Princess Special. So I'm going to open this sealed can up and give you my first impression. Now, first impressions, you know, I like to do fresh tin openings on the camera the most. I think that's the most fun for me. As well as, it gives, I'll give you right out the gate what I think of it. Am I going to keep, what do I think of the tin? It's a solid, I, I, I wish it had a, uh, a screw top because it feels kind of loose. So I'm hoping it's still fresh, but it was made on the 243rd day of 2018. And the AM? I don't know what the A is, but I'm guessing AM. Could mean something else. Maybe A, a machine. Did you say the 234th day? Yeah. We're in January. 243rd day of 2018. No, that's inaccurate. We're, we're in January. Yeah, it's 2019. Oh. <laughs> he just traveled back in time. Okay, I opened it up already. Right, I saw it. It's okay. Welcome back to the future. <laughs> I can smell right off the bat. It's flowery. It's floral. It is a dark snuff. If I can, ooh, it is oh. spilling everywhere. There it goes in focus. It's spilling all over my computer. My computer. My computer. <laughs> Twenty nineteen. I thought it was twenty. Oh, this reminds me of Royal George, but <laughs> more flowery. I'm gonna take a pinch and warm it up while he gives his whiff. I smell roses. I smell Nag Champa style uh, incense. I smell a little musk. Um. God, this is such a familiar smell. You get the rose, though, don't you? I get rose, but I also get, like, it, it kind of has the Windexy smell. Well, let me see again. Ammonia? Like, a, a, some sort of cleaner. Like, it doesn't smell bad. Soapy, yeah, it's definitely soapy. Well, I'm going to put mine in the nose. I've Now that it's warmed up. Mm. No, this one's not for me. Even just that little bit, I can tell right now. This one's not for me. I'm gonna finish her off though. Yeah, it's definitely soapy. Kind of take or it smells like a how's that afterward smell of hay, but it's not like a barnyard hay. I'm capping that one. I think I'm gonna put that on the wall. I'm gonna put that on the tower. That one was definitely interesting. I've had ones like it. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Um. However, I feel like if you were to mix it, it'd be, it, I feel like it'd be a nice mixer. We could throw some menthol in it. I got that, uh, what's that stuff up here called? This stuff would be a good mixer. The super cool. Yep. Let me try yep. it. Now that I got a nose full, let's see what the super cool does to the, uh, rear and trayer. Cause this is a dark menthol. Oh yeah. I could mix these two together. That would be really nice, actually. That is amazing. Okay, I'm getting the bullet. Yep. Two seconds. <laughs> I was right. I'm surprised. While well, he's gone, I'm gonna snoop and see the wonderful, delicious fragrances that he has. Ooh, okay. you got more crumbs of comfort. Yeah, I know. I still have a whole bunch of that. I'm going to put nicotine in that because I don't think it's got enough nicotine. I'm going to mix that with the uh, Rustica. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> this one so was super cool. the second day of 2018. Where, where'd that tin go? Where'd it go? Um, the special one. You put it up there. Did I? Oh, yeah. So, today... <laughs> We're going to show you how to mix snuff in a bullet my way. Not the good way, but my way, and it works well enough. So I have here an empty bullet that I bought off of 
Tokesnuff.com came pre-filled with one gram of some bullshit stuff that I didn't like, and I poured it out immediately. It's camphor and cloves. I didn't like it. Um, so get yourself some sort of uh, spoon. I have a Here, clean. The, uh... Huh? Hold on. I don't know what he's doing. But I got me some sort of spoon. I use a screwdriver. So I, I'm a mechanic. Use a paint opener. Oh, yeah. Well, you can use a paint opener, too. <laughs> This that's, one I was using this morning. That's a nice little scoop. So get yourself a tool and you just unscrew the bottom and we're gonna take a scoop of each. We're gonna go one for one of the Princess Special. Well, so we're doing two and then three. And then we're gonna cap it. And you don't wanna fill these up very much. So you're not trying to do exactly half full because we need room to shake. So I set that down, get the super cool, opened up, and take out three measured scoops, approximately the same, or however much you want. Wow, this is really moist. One, <laughs> two, I think I'm just gonna stick with two. But then, it's as simple as pie, you just screw it back on, make sure your arrow's pointing towards the nostril and then you just shake it and then you spin it while rotating it oh if I didn't do that that probably would have mixed shake it. the fire dance and highland ice and this should be relatively melt well mixed very very fast very quick like it should be mixed already so now we'll load it Yeah, that makes a good menthol. Absolutely. Because it, it bites off the edge of the soapiness, that soapy overtone that just makes you go, ugh. And uh, it replaces it with a cool bursting uh, explosion in your nose, and I like that a lot. Prince's Special should have been a menthol. I am a... That's nice. That's really nice. You know what's not nice? You're out of beer. I'm out of beer. Yeah. <laughs> How did I know? Yeah, this is definitely nice. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, looking forward to more. Uh, I have quite a bit of toke to go through. but Quite a bit of toke? Quite a bit of Wilson's of Sharo? I imagine there's going to be several menthols in this Wilson's of Sharo box that I've got. I think they just grab handfuls of shit and go... <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, that's all I got for now. See you guys later. See ya.